Hello everybody, it's Kay with West Creek Stampers. Um, it's been a while since I've been on here, but I have been busy working way too much um, at my nursing job and away a couple weekends. I wanted to get on before this, but life just kind of takes over. So today is the first day that we can order from our new annual catalog, and I'm not getting the whole thing in there with this this direction so i'm going to put it sideways for you to see um if you haven't gotten it yet i have them i will have them at class for you i wanted to show you these tabs um to divide the sections like they have all occasion um uh birthday my eyes, it's a little distance, love, thanks, and support, tabs that you can put on to divide. I also got mine uh, spiral bound at Staples. Uh, it cost me about $6. Um, usually you need to plan on a time that you can come back later in the day because they don't get them done real quick, but um, it is nice to have, or you can pay extra to get it um, done faster, but I picked a day that I could come back like a day or two later. I knew I was gonna be in town. So that's that. I have, I ordered these labels for the tabs. I didn't do such a good job putting mine on. Um, I saw other ones after that had them all like steps down the row, but I just kind of started slapping mine on. Some I got a little too deep but that's okay it's for me but anyhow when i ordered those um i got not only a set for me but i got seven sets of these tabs and this is how they come so i am going to give away the rest of them i believe there's seven i better one let's see one two three four five six seven yes i have seven complete extra sets so i am going to give those away to the first seven people who like and comment on this video that they would like a set um that um if you think you'd like to use them on your new catalog hi LaDonna. um i want to show you the cards i made this weekend um this past weekend at the um, Pampered Stamper event. And then I'm going to show you a, uh, how we did a couple of those. So strawberry was the theme. We had strawberry treats everywhere. Um, I do have some other strawberry things here. I'll show you little gifts that we got. But here are, now speaking about the strawberries, that strawberry punch um, is coming, believe it or not. It is coming. It's in the new catalog. There have just been so many orders for it. They had back orders they had to get filled up, and um, they are coming. For those of you who are waiting, they will be here. This is another one, another strawberry the shipping, the COVID stuff. I think we're lucky that more things are not so hard to get. My husband's mowing today, so if you hear that running noise, that's what's going on outside. This was the name tag that was at my place. This is um, our bingo marker. We had bingo as part of our Pampered Stamper event. So if you're ever interested, these are some of the kind of things that you get in the event. And there was candy in some of these, but it's not there anymore. Um, this is a box, and that had a bag of yummy strawberry gummies in it. This is a little notepad, which I really haven't even slid this off to look at yet. I'm not going to try to do that while... I'm on video, but that is a notepad we got. And then here is another little treat that we got, and it has one of the um, erasers, the adhesive erasers in it. So those are some of the things that we got at the weekend. Uh, we had lots of fun. The 
the stamping room was fabulous. Here's another one of the cards we made. There were a couple alternate classes. Um, I did that one, and that was using the blending brushes. Now this is cut out of the black and white paper, and then the blending brush is used just to pink up the middle. Isn't that pretty? And then this is the foil paper with that scripty embossing folder, which I do not have. This is another one we did in the blending brushes class, and we sponged this flower. Okay, so here is one. I'm gonna show you how we did it. This is using the black and white paper, some sponging. It's very easy to do. It makes a very pretty card. And this, I will, this piece right here, I will give away to somebody too. Whoever comments and thinks that they would like to have it to make a card, you let me know, make a comment, and I'll do a drawing if there's too many. So with these blending brushes, I just tap, tap, tap on the ink and then start off of the page and slide into it. It's very easy. Um, these come in a set of three. They're $12. They are one of the things that was hard to get there for a while. They were in back order and unorderable for quite a while, but now they're back. These are very easy to clean when you're done. You just rinse that through um, in your spigot in running water. Okay, so that was Mommy Blue. This color is magenta, and I'm gonna come up through here, and see there, I was a little impatient, and I started on the paper, so I got a dark spot right there. That's okay. One thing, if it's lighter, you can add more to it. If it's too dark, it's a little hard to do anything about. Okay, and so then I am going to put some gorgeous grape on here because that is the paper that's on the background. I just think this makes a super pretty card. Um, it dresses up that I like the black and whites, but this is a quick and easy way. So that, so I'm just going to go down the line here between the two and kind of blend those together. Have all kinds of shades here, and that's okay. Everybody will think that you're just awesome because you made this variegated colored paper. Okay, so that's one of the ones. I will give that piece away. And the other one, is using is with this I'm getting quite a power beat around me here this is what the other one is now that's using that painted um that painted uh embossing folder and i see i have a stamper waiting and what we did with that was just take the frosted white shimmer paint and put a little puddle here of shimmer paint. This is how we made this shiny. This is a smoky slate cardstock. And we took this shimmer and went all over, or you're just doing the top half. I'm gonna do this whole thing and I'm gonna run it through my embossing folder when it dries. And then you're gonna see, and I'll make sure that that is all covered how pretty that looks when it's done to be like this. So I'll give that one away also. 
Um, a couple other things that I wanted to tell you about is next week is car class, May 11th and 13th. If you haven't signed up yet, let me know um, when you would like to come. The new catalog, of course, is live now, and there are some specials that go along with that. One of them is there is a join special if you sign up with Stampin' Up! During um, May 4 to 31, you get $155 worth of product of your choice for $99 rather than the $125 that it normally is. So that's a great deal. There's no obligation. If you have any questions or you'd like to find out more about that, let me know. Um, during May 4th to May to June 14th, you can get an extra $25 worth of Stampin' Rewards for a $250 order or party, um, or more. So that is, it's usually $25 of free product with $250 order, um, during May 4 to June 14. It is... Um, $50 worth of free product. There is a sign up for new paper pumpkin subscribers special here. Um, I didn't write down the dates of those. That's coming up here real soon. I am going to post those dates for you. If you're a new subscriber, you get the first month for $5. Next month, they're coming out with kits available for stampers to order. They will not be in the catalog. They'll be on online only. I have the paper share going on and in Color Club I did send an email about that so if you have any further questions um, let me know. For class next week I am going to have a table out with some of my used stamp sets that are retired. They will be on a BOGO or a a cash price. So BOGO means that if you buy something out of the new catalog for that price, you'll get this item for free. Or you can do have the option of just uh, paying cash for it. Um, so that will be on a first come first serve basis. Uh, the paper share. I have uh, one share that's just about full. I have one opening for it. The April challenge of the card with a butterfly and with some green. Becky Dopp won that. And she is getting these two blends. Um, the greens. The May challenge is make a card. All things flowers. May is our flower month. So, um make a card and post it on the site. Okay, ladies, that's all for today. Have a good afternoon and see you next week.